Okay, so this is going to be a review on the Enco Air Cord, which is a mouse cord from uh, China. It took about three weeks to arrive from the date of me ordering it, and it was twenty dollars for shipping. Um, I think it's just a flat rate. Uh, I don't know about if it's a flat rate anywhere in the world, but I think it's just a flat rate if you order to the United States. Um, I did have to trim. I don't know if you can really see it with the lighting. Uh, but the top of it, I had to trim it off a little bit with a nail clipper just to get it to fit into the Viper Mini. Um, which I think is just more of the Viper Mini being weird because this is the stock cable for the Viper Mini and how it connects in. It's got a very unique looking, um, I don't, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, it's blanking my mind. But essentially it's much thinner if you compare them side by side, the two wires can see it's like half the size also the flexibility of it it's very very flexible even to the point where something like that it doesn't really it feels almost wireless where this is quite stiff um, retains its shape too when you do that it doesn't really bounce back too well um, and if you watch vertically the mouse just goes and it is a sky pad so it's quite fast but Really, it it feels absolutely amazing. Um, I do not have a bungee, as you can see, to put the wire in, but it feels great. It really, it feels great. And as I do not have the stock cord in, and I didn't think to do a glide test beforehand before swapping them out, I can't do a direct comparison. But what I can do is I have the normal wired Viper, uh, not the 8K Hertz, the uh, older one. And the wires are different. You can see that the Mini is a little thicker, but I mean, feeling them as far as their flexibility, they feel really about the same. Not much of a difference, and I will do a glide test with this now. So, and the skates are different. This has a uh, core pad, core pad skates on it, and this has Tiger Ice. Um, these are more worn down. I pretty much got the the pads for this as soon as I swapped over to actually the Viper Ultimate. Um, but nevertheless, not going to be too big of a difference, I don't think. This one is heavier, the mouse, um, by about 10 grams, 15 grams or something. Uh, but for the test of gliding it up, Definitely, you can see the wire itself, the entire wire moves instead of the wire flexing, which really, I mean, I would say you don't really want a lot more drag than on here, where the wire actually flexes with the Enco. Um, yeah, my desk is a mess now. Uh, ignore the wires everywhere, but yeah, my review of this wire is really good for the price. Um, Obviously, wireless is going to be better if you can get a, a wireless mouse with a good weight and a shape that you enjoy. But as far as making a wired mouse feel as close to wireless as possible, I think this is probably the best option you'll find, on the market at least, that you can actually get your hands on. Um, there was a company called Photon Wire, which I never got the opportunity to try, but... I, went on, I tried to go on their website before I ordered this because I was trying to look into all options available. And their website wouldn't even load, so I don't even know if they're in business anymore. But yeah, 20 bucks takes about three weeks to, for me to, to like got to my house. And I would highly recommend this product. Um, I, I mean, I can't really have anything bad to say about it. Uh, very flexible. It's your standard, I think, two meter length or whatever. Um, yeah, good product and uh, I'd recommend it. Okay, so I didn't really talk about this as much as I probably should have. Um, but with the rubber stress relief, you just, with the nail clipper, are gonna have to clip off some of this rubber on the uh, two spots that my cursor's on. Uh, they show it on their website here on the close-up picture for the Viper Mini. Uh, they say that it can fit up to 95% of mice on the market, which I can only really say that it will fit the Viper. 
mini, the stress relief, when you cut it down. Um, and then it has a ferret bead, which is supposed to, I guess, reduce electric noise, electronic noise or something. Um, I don't really know about that, but it doesn't hurt the, the wire at all. So, um, yeah, nothing bad there. And then uh, they show a picture of how much it weighs uh, versus, I guess, a different stock cable. Um, all I can really say on that is the, the air core does feel a lot lighter than other cables, which makes sense because it's literally like half the thickness. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. Uh, they have the the wire available for Razer, Logitech, Steel Series, Endgame, Zowie, Vaxi, Final Mouse, ExtraFi, or DIY. Um, I don't know what you would have to do if you select the DIY option, but uh, definitely a product I would recommend, and like and subscribe if you like the video.